Hello, I'm Disney Obsessed, and today I have a haul video for you guys. I went to Disneyland Paris last week for my birthday, and I bought some really cool stuff, so I'm really excited to show you. And also, grab a drink and a snack, probably, because this will be a long one. I bought a ton of stuff, and so let's get into this. So let's get into the free stuff. When I checked in, I grabbed myself a birthday badge. I was there to celebrate my birthday. And the girl that was checking me in was so excited that I was there for my birthday that she handed me some of these balloons that have Mickey, Minnie, and Donald on it. And then they also say Disneyland Paris on the back. I also got a blue one. I don't know if I'll ever actually use these. I just keep them as souvenirs. Um, also, when you check in, they give you a lot of informational papers. Uh, when I came in, I just got like a really cool welcome letter. Just basically welcomes you to the resort. And then um, an information paper with like, you know, the hotel information, food options, all the amenities of the resort. And then on the back, it has a map of the hotel grounds and the person who checks you in circles where you are and gives you your key and basically gives you instructions on how to get to your room. I was in the Yellowstone Lodge building, um, which is the closest building to the resort that's outside of the resort, room 134. And then when you get into the room, there was these chocolate coins waiting for me, which was really nice. Uh, with the 25 years on it. And similarly, when I went to the um, Buffalo Bills Wild West show in the Disney Village, at the end of the show, they give you a chocolate coin as well. Real money. It looks like this. Other things that you get when you check in is your Disney Hotel Easy Pass, which is what you show the cast members to get into Extra Magic Hours in the Disneyland Park. You need to have this to get into Extra Magic Hours. And then in my park tickets, my actual park ticket was Mickey Mouse. And then my Buffalo Bills Wild West show ticket was Donald Duck. I got Donald Duck and he's my favorite. <laughs> And then I got some photo pass cards. Um, so if you don't have the Disney photo pass, uh, anytime you get a picture taken by a photographer, they put the pictures on a temporary card. So if you're still interested in purchasing them, you can do that. Um, Walt Disney World, which is where I usually go, they don't have paper fast passes anymore. So what I did was grabbed fast passes and then never actually used them so I could keep it as a memory. So I got one for Tower of Terror, got one for Peter Pan's Flight, Buzz Lightyear Laser Blast, Ratatouille, and Hyperspace Mountain, which is amazing. I love this ride. I can't stop raving about this ride. And then on my way back to the airport, once my trip was done, there was this family that had just been on a Disney cruise and she had these like little pictures with her and I asked her if she had one of Donald Duck and she did, so she gave me this one. <laughs> He's so cute. And then she also gave me one of the whole gang. Other free stuff, when I ate at Bistro Chez Remy, I was a weirdo that asked for a second napkin so I could keep it. <laughs> and then it says Disneyland Paris on the back. And then I also kept the little, uh, I don't even know what you would call this, it was in my fries as like a little decoration. It's kind of what you use to put in appetizers to hold them together or whatever, but this one. Looks like little Remy. Also, I had bought a clothing item, which I'll be showing you later. And on the tag, it came with like this little button with a Mickey head on it. So that's really awesome. Cute little freebie. 
I also grabbed some extra programs and park maps uh, just in case I want to do some DIYs. So at Disneyland Paris, they have one folder as the program, which shows you when the parades are, which characters are meeting, where you can find them, and what times in both the Disneyland Park and the Studios Park. And then they also have the park map uh, for the two parks in a separate one. So I had just grabbed some of those to keep as souvenirs. Another thing that was in that bag is this postcard that I bought my dad. 101 Dalmatians best dad. They have a line of these like best dad, best family, best friends, love. Um, huge line there. So I got this one for my dad and this was 150 euro. This is easily one of the best things I bought when I was gone. I decided to purchase one of those photos off the PhotoPass card. One photo with a frame is 20 euro, which is incredibly expensive. Um, if you want multiple photos, the photo pass is only 60 euro and you get all the pictures digitally, um, unlimited, all the pictures that are taken plus the ride photos. Um, but I really wasn't interested in all the photos because I wasn't going out of my way to meet characters and generally the ride photos don't turn out. I strictly just wanted the one picture of me and Donald Duck. Um, so I paid the 20 euro and comparison just for one picture versus... 60 euro for tons. I get it that it's expensive, but again, it's the only one I wanted and it turned out amazing. I'm so happy with this. <laughs> so it's a 25th anniversary frame and then it's me and Donald. Sorry for the glare. I'm sure you can still see it, but the 25th anniversary frame, Donald's in his 25th anniversary outfit. And of course, Donald Duck is number one and that's what this picture represents. I have so much stuff, I don't even know where to begin picking. I think I might go for mugs and candy next. Uh, so let's do candy. Um, if you're familiar with the Disney community on YouTube, there's a channel called LNR Dreaming. Luke and Rich can't get enough of these marshmallows, so I decided to give them a try. I'm sure they're amazing if they can't stop raving about them. These were 6.99 euro. I cannot wait to give these a try. I also got some Goofy Candy Company uh, bags and these are a little bit different than World. Um, these are just Haribo candies. Um, but I'm excited to eat these anyway. Um, these are sour gummies. They just look like tongues. I'm not really sure what these candies are actually called. And then I got the little sour alligator ones. These were both 3.99 euro. And then I got this little square of chocolate with Mickey Mouse on it. This was 1 euro, I believe. Oh, 1.99 euro. And then I got a huge box of the shortbread cookies, 18 count. These were 6 99 euro. Then I got some lollies for friends at work. And these were 4.99 euro each. So basically one euro a lolly. And then I got this huge tin of little cookies. I bought it for the tin, which is usually the case for people who buy this. It says tea time at Petty with Alice on it. I thought this was just perfect. Um, and there's little characters on the side, so the Queen of Hearts, one of the little uh, card soldiers, the White Rabbit, can't see, the Caterpillar, Mad Hatter, Tweedledee, Tweedledum, and I'll show you one of the cookies on the inside. So I believe it's dark chocolate. This one has Goofy on it. They all have different characters. This one is plain and it has Pluto on it. And then I believe these ones are milk chocolate. Oh, Donald! <laughs> but I think each cookie has a different character on it. So once those are gone, I plan on putting some tea in here. Um, so I'm excited about that. I was a bit naughty this trip and ended up coming home with four mugs. I was planning on getting two. I came home with four. 
That is the life of Disney shopping. You buy more than you anticipated. The first mug I'm going to show you, sadly, the handle broke on my way home. Um, I had all my breakables in my backpack as a carry-on and I ended up dropping my backpack. I'm surprised this is the only thing that broke, to be honest. Um, it was a Disney store mug, so I'm hoping next time I travel, I'll be able to spot it and replace it, but at least it was just the handle I was able to glue it back together. It just doesn't look <laughs> great. Um, so this is what it looks like with Donald Duck on it. Hey, what's up? What's going on? And then on the side, it has a Donald Duck emblem, and blue inside. And again, there's Donald Duck on it. Yeah, so the handle broke. I had to glue it back together. Doesn't look super fantastic, but it's still usable. Not the end of the world if I can't replace it. Could be worse, I suppose. The next mug I bought is one of the cutest mugs I own. <laughs> hey, a little squirt <laughs> from Finding Nemo. How cute is this mug? This is fantastic. This was $14.99 euro. And the one that I broke was $12.99 euro. The next mug that I bought is a 25th anniversary mug. I bought it because it has Donald on it. <laughs> and I wanted a Disneyland Paris mug that was specifically Disneyland Paris, but a lot of them were kind of tacky in my opinion. Uh, so I went with this one. It says, discover the stars. And then on the side is Donald Duck with Chip and Dale. And then on the inside, it does say Disneyland Paris 25. This mug was only 10.99 euro. I think that's a great value. It's a good size. I love the colors. Maroon, burgundy, love. Um, super cute mug for only 10.99 euro. This mug, the next one, was the most expensive mug. Um, I believe it's because it's a um, Disney Brito mug uh, showcase collection. And as you can see here, it's the Donald Duck one. This was 19.99 euro. I honestly thought it was gonna be way more expensive than that, so I was okay with the price. So he's like popping out here. I forget what you call that, but yeah. So he is popping out here and then on the side, the stars continue and then angry little Donald Duck on the side here. And again, this was 19.99 euro. You're going to notice as we get through this haul that a lot of the stuff I bought is Donald Duck related. Um, he's in my favorite. He's my favorite. Um, so I bought a Vinyl Nation. I already opened it. I put it in my vlog. And the two options are here. And I ended up getting the rare one, the 9 out of, uh, sorry, the 1 out of 10. So here he is. I never get lucky like that. So I'm pretty excited about it. Then I bought a new uh, Jim Shore figurine. Of course, it's Donald Duck. This one's called Foul Temper. He was 28.99 euro. And I forgot to mention that the Vinyl Nation was 16.99 euro. I also bought a mini little snow globe, Donald Duck. And here he is. I love the snow globe so much. He looks so cute in there. And then it's topped with his hat. It says Donald Duck and then it has his bow at, on the other side and it does say Disneyland Paris on it. And then when you shake it, look at those sparkles. <laughs> this was 12.99 euro. I also bought a Christmas ornament for my grandparents. So there's Mickey and Minnie. Uh, in front of the Disneyland Paris Castle, Sleeping Beauty's Castle. It says Joya Noel, and on the other side it says Disneyland Paris. I wanted to get the one that said Disneyland Paris on it. Um, I didn't pull the tab out yet, but when you turn on the light, the castle flickers, so that was really cute. And I believe this was $15.99? Yeah, $15.99 euro. And then I bought a watch. I'm so happy I found this. I couldn't find it anywhere, and then when I was Looking around in the Disneyland hotel, I went into the gift shop and I found it. It is this Mickey watch and this was 39.99 euro. 
And then on the other side, it does say original Disneyland Parks on it. So that's really cool. I love this watch so much. I'm so excited that I found this. Next, I think I'll jump into stationery as that's what's sitting beside me. I'll show you the pens first. I bought so much stationery. No regrets. <laughs> so I got a ton of these like little uh, pens here that have like the shape at the top. This one is the 25th anniversary one. And it has little like cogs on it, Mickey, Minnie. I think that's it. Mickey, Minnie, some cogs and some stars. Silver with the, the blue writing. These pens are 5.99 euro. So I got this one. Then I felt like it was pretty appropriate to get a Marie one as it was Disneyland Paris. Also 5.99 euro. Then I got one of Mickey's hand and it has little Mickey heads and hands all over the pen part and it says Disneyland Paris on it. Also 5.99 euro. Then I got one of Minnie's bow. I'm not a huge fan of Minnie, but I thought this pen was cute. So it's like a pinky red and says Disneyland Paris on it. Also 5.99 euro. Um, yeah, so this is cute. And then I got two sets of pens. I got the 25th anniversary, 25 years of stars on it. So there's Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Daisy, Chippendale, and uh, Donald. These were 11.99 euro, so a lot more bang for your buck with that. And then I couldn't, <laughs> so many pens for no reason. I'm, ne I'm never gonna run out of pens. Um, the Toy Story pack. So it comes with the alien, um, the horse. Oh, don't hate me, I'm a bad Disney fan right now. I have a really bad memory. What the horse's name is from Toy Story 2. Oh Lord. Anyways, um, Woody, T-Rex, Rex, uh, Buzz Lightyear, and Evil Emperor Zerg. I can't believe I don't remember the horse's name. If you remember the horse's name, please comment below. Um, and then this is also 11.99 euro for the six pens. Then I got a memo block, the 25th anniversary memo block. This gave me, um, I wouldn't say an issue, when I was coming home and I was going through security, they pulled my, um, my uh, carry on aside and asked me if I had anything sharp and I said no of course I didn't have anything dangerous in my carry on and then he opened it and he found this and he's like oh that's what it is and he kind of giggled um so a little funny story about it so this is the memo block so it has Mickey, Goofy, Donald and Minnie and it has a little spot for your pen here and it also says Disneyland Paris on it with some stars and then it's just a little memo block. I believe this was six euro. I ripped the tag off it so I don't remember how much this was. I believe it was six euro. Then I got, like I said, um, tons of notebooks. So I got this pack. Here's one of Bambi and his little girlfriend. It says Disney Love on the back so it's kind of part of that collection of that postcard I got my dad. I believe I kept the price. I don't know where I put it though. So it came with this one which is lined paper and then it came with this one with Bam uh, sorry, Thumper and his girlfriend also says Disney Love on the back um, and it's blank paper. I started using it but I'll show you here. And oh I found the price. So the two were 9.99 euro so basically five each which isn't that bad. Then I bought this Disneyland Paris one with Mickey and Goofy on the front and the Eiffel Tower. And then it's kind of like a, um, a double notebook. So if you flip it, this is what the other side looks like. And then the first half of the notebook looks like this. And then halfway through it flips basically and looks like this. And this notebook was 12.99 euro. 
Then I got a Tsum Tsum notebook. I could not resist this. So it has Mickey and Minnie on the front and then it has a whole bunch of different Tsum Tsums. It says Tsum Tsum on the back. And then this is what it looks like on the inside with the characters lining the paper. This was so cute. I couldn't resist. I kept the tag. Give me a second here. This was $7.99 euros, so that's not too bad. More notebooks. More notebooks. I got this Tinkerbell one. I'm not usually a fan of her, um, but I thought this was a really cute print. Couldn't just leave it there. I had to bring it home with me. And I like the notebooks that have like the little um, band on it, kind of like the Moleskines. And this one, I also kept the, the price on it, 12.99 euro. And on the inside, it looks like this. One more notebook, because the ones I just showed you weren't enough, clearly. This one, it's Mickey, and it has like little comic book strips all over it. And I love the lined pages in here. So cute that is. And how much was this? I don't think I kept the price. Oh, I did, 9.99 euro for this. Then I bought a photo frame. I went with the 25 Years of Stars one. And then it has Mickey Chip and Dale on the back. And it says uh, Disneyland Paris 25. This one holds uh, 200 photos, which is usually what I go for for each trip. And this was 16.99 euro. And then I bought something a little over ambitious. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to complete it, but I'm very determined. <laughs> is this giant coloring poster. It was only 12.99. And it's basically a map of the Disneyland park. And it's a coloring page. So this will take forever. It's 100 centimeters by 70 centimeters. And yeah, so that's really cool. I'm excited to try that. I haven't even touched my actual suitcase and it's filled with stuff. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start picking off the top. I'm gonna try and make some kind of grouping of this, but I don't know if that'll really happen. Um, the first thing I see on the top are my Mickey ears with Chip and Dale. Um, so Dale is fishing the 25 star with 20, uh, the stars here. I just thought these were too cute. I couldn't leave them behind and then they're little butts. Um, this really helped to a character interaction when I went to meet Chip and Dale during Extra Magic Hours. They absolutely love these ears. You can uh, check out the interaction in my vlog that will post eventually. <laughs> It's very long, I'm warning you now, but they love these ears. And these were 19.99 euro. And then, oh, this is also kind of free. I guess I missed this um, when I was showing you the free stuff out of that little bag. They still have the Art of Animation class in Disneyland Paris. They unfortunately don't do that in Hollywood Studios anymore in World. But I did the drawing class and I wasn't the only adult. I'm going to put that out there. <laughs> and during my class, we learned how to draw Mickey Mouse. I don't think this is completely terrible, honestly. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with this, that's why I kept it. Um, really great souvenir, especially again because World doesn't do this anymore. Um, another hat is the free cowboy hat you get during Buffalo Bill's Wild West Show. Um, you get a team when you first check in, and I got the green team. So yeah, I thought that I would keep this because you pay like 60 euro for the show, unless you get some kind of deal. Um, and the show's great. It's hour and a half, uh, entertainment show, um, and then you get a really good meal with it. Um, but I thought, again, I would keep the hat as a memory. So this was technically free as well. Um, another thing I'll show you is my autograph book and pen. Again, I didn't specifically go to Disneyland Paris to meet characters because I've met a ton of them in World and it just, I didn't want to waste my time. I shouldn't say waste because it's never a waste to meet a character, but I thought I had better things to do with my time. Um, I wanted to try every single 
um, ride and event that Disneyland Paris had to offer while I was there. So that's what I focused my time on. Um, but again, to the autograph book, I just got the classic one. I can't remember the price. I think it was 11.99 euro. And then I got the 25th anniversary sign uh, autograph pen, Mickey Mini. This is Disneyland 25 on it. And I think this was 3.99. I did end up meeting some characters when I went to Extra Magic Hours because the lines aren't very long during uh, Extra Magic Hours, so I met uh, Donald, of course, a couple times, uh, Chip and Dale, Goofy and Pluto, and then when I went to Auberge for the Princess Lunch, I met Cinderella, Susie Perla, Aurora, Snow White, Belle, Princess Minnie. So I did get quite a few autographs this trip, so it was worth getting. Um, the next thing I will show you is clothing. Um, I did get these pair of socks. I couldn't leave these behind. So Captain Hook is one pair and then Peter Pan on the other. And these were only 9.99 euro and I thought that was a really good deal. Um, something like this would probably go for $20 American at World. So I'm pretty happy with these. These are pretty cute. Then I got a hoodie. This is Disneyland Paris on it, and it has Mickey with an anchor. And then on the front of the sweater, it says Disneyland Paris on it as well. This was 50 euro. Um, sizing, European sizing is very different than American. Um, in world, I'd be swimming in a small. And I had to get a large <laughs> in the sweater. And this is an adult sweater. This isn't even a kid's sweater. So that shows you something. Then I got a couple t-shirts. I got this Ratatouille t-shirt. So it has uh, Chef Remy in the pocket. And then it has some vegetables on the pocket. And then on the back it does say uh, Bon Appetit. Can't re remember quite how much this was. It might have been, I want to say 25 to 30 euro. It was definitely less than 30. Um, and then I did get a 25th anniversary t-shirt um, so this is the galaxy one 25 and then it does say Disneyland Paris on the bottom with some stars this might be a bit wrinkly this was 35 euro which yes is a lot for a t-shirt but uh, all the 25th anniversary merch was for the most part actually reasonably priced, um, but the clothing was expensive for the 25th anniversary. Then I did go with a um, pajama set. And so this is Thumper. It's like a little tank top. And then the shorts have a little birdie on it. And that pajama set was 30 euro. And then while I was there, there were the sales that started. And again, that's such a bizarre thing for me because in World, you'll never see something on sale. If they need to get rid of it, they'll just send it to the outlet. You will never see anything on sale. Um, so I didn't really find anything on sale that I was actually interested in, but this one sweater, it was marked originally for 50 euro and it said 50% off. So it was obviously prepared to pay the 25 euro and then it scanned in for 15. So I'm not complaining. Um, it's really plain and I think it's a men's sweater, but as a little Mickey and then it's like a quarter zip and that's it. Just a little blue sweater. I wish I had pockets, but it's okay. I will live. And it's really, really long on me so I can get away like wearing it almost as a dress with some leggings or something. So I ended up paying 15 euro for that. And then the best clothing item ever. I'm in love with this. It's a skirt and I paid 70 euro for this, which I know is outrageous, but I wanted to buy that Jersey 25th anniversary sweater. I couldn't find it anywhere when I was there. It was out of stock. And that was 70 euro. I was prepared to pay 70 euro for that sweater. So I kind of justified this purchase by saying, well, I'm not buying the sweater so I can buy this. It has little Mickey heads all over it. Oh, this is so cute, honestly. Just wearing it like this with like a little tank top. 
It is the cutest thing ever. I'll do a little um, try on at the end of the video. So that was 70 euro, but I am telling you it was worth every single penny. Isn't this cute? I freaking love this. Worth every penny. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with stuffed animals next, but I just have this one random item to show you. Um, I got a passport cover. Explore the Stars with Donald Chippendale, and then it says 25th anniversary on the back. This was 10 euro, and I don't have a passport cover, so I was really excited about this. And then it does have the 25 years of stars on it. I thought this was really suitable in terms of a passport cover because when you're traveling, you are exploring, so explore the stars. And Donald is my favorite, so I couldn't really leave this behind. And again, that was 9.99 euro. And then this isn't actually a stuffed animal, but I did the droid factory. <laughs> Look at him! He has like a little sorcerer hat with a uh, Mickey ears on it. So I really like him. Sorry for the glare. And he was $10.99. Um, and then I also wanted the actual Mickey hat. Um, so I asked the cashier very nicely if I could have two hats. And I was willing to pay extra, but she didn't even charge me for it. So it was just €10.99 for the droid. And I have an extra hat in there. It's somewhere in the bottom. And then stuffed animals, yay! I got a Peter Pan Mickey. I really enjoy him. I thought he was so cute. So he has his hat, sword, little booties. Like the detail is really good. Like this is really well made. Some of the um, plushes, unfortunately, you could tell that they were just cheaply made, but this one is really well done. And he was 20 euro. I thought I paid more for him. <laughs> so very cute. Then I got Chip and Dale. And they're hugging. Uh, so basically two plushes in one. Um, they have little Velcro hands. So they don't have to be hugging. You can separate them. But I'm just going to leave them the way they are. And this is actually in a Disney Land Paris exclusive. The tag says it there. This was $25.99 euro. But again, it is two plushes. So I didn't think that was that bad of a price. And then I got a Donald Duck plush because I don't have this one. I have a bigger one of him. But this one's so cute. I couldn't leave him behind. His little hairs. He was $15.99 euro. So cute. And then, of course, I couldn't go to Disneyland Paris without getting a Remy. I wanted originally the big one, and then I saw it, and he was so strange. Like, he looked really, really strange. I did not like how he looked. Like, his eyes were super buggy and just not a cute plush. Um, so he has this little chef hat, his spoon. His eyes are kind of strange on this one too, I'm not going to lie, but it was better than the other one. And then a little Disneyland Paris apron. Um, and just a word of warning, when you buy plushes, take a good look at them. Make sure that they're good. The eyes aren't sticking each which way and that the spoon is good. Like, not just specifically this one, but like the details on the plush that you're buying are perfect because you're paying a lot of money for them. You want them to look how they're supposed to look. And I had to sort through like 15 of these before I found one where the spoon was good and the eyes were good and his hat was good and his apron was good. So maybe I put too much thought into it, but if I'm going to pay money for it, I want what it's supposed to look like. Um, this one was 15 99 euro. Then I bought a um, Duffy outfit because I bought a Duffy when I went to World uh, last August, and he doesn't have an outfit yet, and the outfits they had in World just weren't what I was looking for. I really wanted this one because this is his original outfit, is the sailor outfit. So it says Duffy on it. I just thought this was really, really cute. And then it has a little Duffy tag here, and then little Mickeys on the back. I'm so excited to put this on my Duffy. And this was 15.99 euro. And then uh, I guess it's Tsum Tsum time. I went a little Tsum Tsum crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'll start with the sets that I bought. I bought the Travel France set because I felt like that was pretty fitting. So <laughs> look at him with his little mustache, I can't get enough of that. And their little berets. 
This was 14.99 euro. Then I don't understand this set. If you can explain this set to me in the comments down below, that'd be fantastic. But it's Nikki and Donald. So I bought it because Donald was in it. Let's be real. But Nikki has almost like a Greek like bandana on, like head wrap. And then Donald Duck has a cute little hat and a rose in his mouth. I do not understand this travel set. I don't know where they're going, what this set was intended to be or represent. It was also 14.99 euro, but again, if you understand this, please tell me <laughs> because I don't. I just bought it because Donald was in it. And then, speaking of Donald, I got the Donald Duck Tsum Tsum keychain. He was 5.99 euro. He's so cute. Okay, so the 25th anniversary Tsum Tsums. Here's Mickey. These were all 5.99 euro each. And again, look at their faces and their outfits and make sure they're not missing anything or their strings loose or the stitching looks strange. I had to look through quite a few of these too. So that was Mickey, 5.99 euro. Minnie with her cute little bow and dress. A little tail. Daisy, her cute little bow and dress. Goofy, this one's pretty cool with his glasses, cool little outfit. My favorite, Donald Duck. His bow does look a little strange, but they were all like that. Cute little hat and outfit. So cute. And then, of course, I don't have this one, and I need every Donald Duck item in existence. Um, I've never seen this Tsum Tsum before, and I don't know why it exists, but bought it. 5.99 euro. It's Donald Duck, but his outfit is spotted. So I don't know why they released this. But they got my money for it, didn't they? And then I searched everywhere for this next item. Everywhere. I looked in every single shop, could not find this, and then... I got off the Tower of Terror ride and it was in that gift shop and that's still the only place I saw it the whole trip and they only had two of them. I'm so glad I found this. It is the giant, well it's medium size technically I think, but it's massive compared to, you know, this one. <laughs> massive Donald Duck Zoom. He was 14, 15.99 euro. Oh, he's so cute. I'm so glad I found him. Again, of all places to find him in all of Disneyland Paris is the Tower of Terror gift shop. That's where I found him. And then this next item is so cool. Is a, it's so big, the Tsum Tsum pillow of Mickey Mouse. It's like right on the back. I don't understand the purpose of this. You can put your favorite Tsum Tsums and carry them along. Like, I don't know why you'd want to do that. I just thought this would look cute on my couch, but this was, 24.99 euro. So not so bad. I thought that was a pretty good price, but his ears. <laughs> so cute. This next item doesn't really fit in with anything else, so I'm just going to show you is this oven glove set. So this one is Mickey's pants and then this one is his hand or a glove. This was only 12.99 euro and I swear to god this is like $20 American in the states and even with the exchange rate this was cheaper to buy in Paris. And then this next item also doesn't really fit in with anything else. Um, it's a gift I got my dad and stepmother. Um, they were out of boxes. I had to ask for one and kind of went back and forth with her like, I want a box for this. I don't want you to just wrap it up and stick it in a bag, which is what they tried to do and I noticed as I left. Um, this was released for Valentine's Day, I believe, and they're still available, I guess, because they were so popular is the heart locket. So I'm gonna try and show the design here. It's Mickey and Minnie in the Eiffel Tower. And then on the side, on the other side, sorry, I got the engraving. It says Christine and Ari, October 1st, 14, which is the day they got married. There we go, that's all right. And then of course it comes with the key um, and then the little pamphlet to explain 
and like the terms of conditions or whatever because the whole idea is that you can lock this on a fence to seal your love and then you throw the key down the well beside Cinderella's castle at Auberge de Cinderella. So um, just if they if people were locking them in other areas of the park and it basically says if you do that they will cut it down uh, just to keep the theme of the park so just put it where you're allowed to. Um, I thought this was a really cool gift for them. Um, this was 20 euro with the engraving. Uh, so that was a really cute gift uh, for my dad and Christine. I'd say we're almost near the end, but the last items I'm going to show you are pins. And I got so many. I don't even know how many. Um, so let's keep trucking. Um, I got this uh, pocket mirror from my friend at work with Ariel on it. And it says Disneyland Paris on it. And this was 6.99 euro. And then I bought some magnets because I love fridge magnets before I started this um, slippery slope collection of pins that will forever have my money. Um, I bought magnets and I still want to continue that. Um, my fridge is covered in magnets. So the first one I got is Sleeping Beauty's Castle and it says Disneyland Paris 25 on it. Then I bought, of course, a Ratatouille one. It says Ratatouille, la vraie petite chef. Thought that was cute. This was 4.99 euro, and the castle was 5.99 euro. And then I bought this Disneyland Paris one that has Mickey, Tower of Terror, the Earful Tower, so uh, Sleeping Beauty's castle. Sorry, uh, I believe that's. Big Thunder Mountain. Yeah, Big Thunder Mountain. The tree in the back is probably the Robinson Treehouse. That's my guess. And then Hyperspace Mountain. This was 4 dollars euro. And then I got a 25th anniversary one. Disneyland Paris with Mickey and Minnie on it. And this was 4 dollars euro. I usually like to get a magnet with the year on it and I couldn't find one anywhere. I know there was one that I've seen online, but again, I couldn't find it anywhere. And there was also another one that I wanted that said Disneyland Paris on it and had the little characters in the letters. I'm sure you've seen it if you watch other haul videos and I couldn't find that anywhere either. Um, little things that were out of stock when I was there. And then I also bought this metal sign, same as the magnet basically that says Ratatouille on it. And it has uh, Remy, Emil, yeah, so that's really cute. And that was 9.99 euro. And then this next item, I'm gonna have to show on a different camera point as it's a blanket um, about the 25th anniversary blanket. That's what the blanket looks like. And this was 29.99 euro. This is the blanket rolled out, so it says 25 years of stars with Goofy, Mickey, and Minnie, and it says Disneyland Paris 25 on the bottom, and Chippendale, and Sleeping Beauty's Castle. I'm kind of sad Donald's not on it, I'll be honest, but it's super, super soft, and I absolutely love it, and I can't wait to start using it. Okay, so this whole bag is pins. I probably got like 14 or 15 pins, I'm not really sure. So it's like a little goodie bag, so we can just start pulling out pins and looking. I also wrote down the prices um, of the colors because they're all color coded, so you'll actually know how much these are. So let's hop into this bag. I just grabbed the pricing list. Legit, just grabbing random pins. Oh yay! Slinky Dog from Toy Story. This is such a cool pin. The card's kind of damaged. Um, the first time I had spotted this was like halfway through my trip and I didn't want to risk not finding it again. Um, so I bought the one with the damaged card and it was the only one there and then after that I saw it everywhere and I didn't think it was worth returning just to get a better card so I just went with it. This one is coded blue. Blue is 8.99 euro. Next one the attractions pin for Ratatouille. They have this attractions line there. I went with the one, uh, the two. I bought two of these um, that we don't actually have in World. So this is the Ratatouille one, which is orange, and orange is $7.99 euro. Oh, 
cool. Okay, this is the 25th anniversary one I went with, which is the spinning wheel. It has the 25th anniversary on it with Donald, Mickey, Goofy, and Minnie spinning. And this was yellow, which is 9.99 euro. This is such a cool pin. When I was there, they had basically every single 25th anniversary pin available, except the limited edition ones, obviously. Oh, sweet. Okay, so this is the Sequoia Lodge pin, with Chip and Dale on it, with the key. They have these for all the resorts. This is blue. $8.99 euro. Okay, this one is Peter Pan. He was green, which is $6.99 euro. Again, I'm not like a huge fan of Tinkerbell, but this design is so pretty that I just had to go for it. It has like a silver frame around it, and she just looks so pretty. This one was orange, $7.99 euro. The other attraction pin I went for, Phantom Manor, because in World it's called Haunted Mansion, so I wanted something to remember this by. Orange as well, $7.99. This pin is really cool. Yellow, so $9.99, which is a little suitcase and it has all the parks on it. So you have Paris, Shanghai, Orlando, Hong Kong, Tokyo, and Anaheim. So I've been to World in Florida and then Paris and I would like to go to all of them someday. It is in the cards, it will happen eventually. Um, so that's why I bought this and that has Mickey Mouse in it and it says Around the World with Mickey. I thought that was so cute. It has a little magnet too to keep it closed. Oh yes, so I've been, I was looking everywhere for this pin too, and um, I believe I saw it in a couple shops, can't remember which ones, but the first time I saw it was in the Newport Bay Hotel shop when I was just taking a look around, is the Alice and Dina, I believe is the cat's name. I was looking everywhere for her, I'm so glad I found it, it's such a cute pin. This was green, so $6.99. I can't believe that was a, one of the cheaper pins. Oh, this one's so cute. So this was orange, $7.99, and it's um, Mickey on like a little Vespa. I thought that was so cute. And then, of course, I got this Donald Duck one, which was green, $6.99. Oh, yep, so green. And then, fortunately, I did find a pin with the year on it. So, Sorcerer Mickey 2017 Disneyland Paris with the Earful Tower and Sleeping Beauty Castle on it. This was green, so $6.99. And this wood pin was harder to find too. I saw it enough obviously to get one, but it wasn't everywhere. So you gotta look around for this one. They had someone, uh, one similar without the year on it. Okay, so two pins left, we're getting there. This is the Eiffel Tower collection. So here's the Mickey one, orange, so $7.99. I saw these pretty much everywhere. And then also orange, so $7.99 is the Minnie Mouse one. And those are all the pins I bought. I know, it's a lot. It's definitely a lot. So that's my haul for my Paris June 2017 trip. I know I spent a lot of money, I got a lot of stuff, but I feel really happy with what I brought home and I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Bye!